Hi everyone! So, as you might already seen from the title, I'm Adinda and I've been living abroad since I was 16. I don't want this to be a video that is for YouTube's sake. I just want to take my time for this video to just reflect myself, but also make it as a YouTube video. This video is a very short way to reflect back upon my own personal experience. In everything, there are obviously the good and bad side of things, and this video would be mainly talking about the positive life lessons that I've learned. I will be explaining some very broad term with very simple definitions and or examples, as this video is directed for a wide audience who may or may not have experienced the same thing as I did. I am very fortunate and grateful to be able to experience this, and I'm not implying in any way that you would have to experience the same thing as I did in order to get the life lesson that I have learned. If you don't know yet, I study in this school which is a very unique school, I would say. Um, it's called UWC, which is United World College in China. So I used to live in China, which is honestly, who would have thought? Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Basically, I moved to China when I was 16 years old. And I would say that it really has been such a life-changing experience for me because Holy shit, I've learned so much in the past two years that I lived abroad and I'm very grateful for the experience that I had. So if you, um, so basically just a little background information, I know that the ones that are probably watching these are my friends, but if anything, if later on anyone would like to know about UWC, basically UWC is a United World College and UWC has several schools all over the world. There's one in Germany, there's one in India, there's one in China, which is the one that I go to. Um, there's one in Singapore. So it's like spread out all over the world. Basically, its mission is to gather people from different backgrounds, different nationalities, different cultures, to be together pursuing their high school education, basically finishing their high school education in this school, which is a UWC school. And yeah, basically you get to interact with people from so many different nationalities, which obviously it changed my mind to a lot of things. And that's why I want to make this video. What I have learned from living abroad in UWC. Well, I don't want to focus centrally on UWC itself because honestly, I could talk for hours if I only talk about what I have learned from UWC and I'm not gonna make a video just revolving about UWC because yeah, well, technically I graduated from the school, so I kind of like don't live there anymore and my life is moving on from that phase. So I just don't want to centralize everything from the UWC perspective and like what I have learned from studying in a United World College school, but rather I want to make it focus towards, you know, what I have learned from living actually abroad for the past two years of my life when I move out alone at 16 to go to China which is a very interesting country, first of all, to move out for the first time. And I've learned so much. Oh my God. When I look back at everything, I was just, I didn't thought that I would evolve to be the person that I am right now as quick as two years. It's crazy to think that. I moved to China when I was 16 years old, going on 17. I've never lived alone prior to this experience. Like every time I would go abroad, it's not like I'm going somewhere very different from my own culture. Like I would only go around Southeast Asian countries, which compared to Indonesia, like we have so many similarities in terms of cultures. So yeah, it was, it was a very weird in the beginning. And I don't know, I guess you will never get to prepare yourself in any way. Thankfully, my parents were brave enough to send me to live abroad on my own since I was 16. Which I'm super grateful for because honestly, I grew up to be a better person now. Technically, don't live alone because I live in a boarding school where everything was kind of taken care of for us because of it is a school and it is a boarding school. So yeah, they should be taking care of some of the hard stuff for you. But I did get to experience like the hustle of living alone, having to get your own bank account or managing your own financial thing.
things. But I always want to question like the education system because no one has taught me that. And I'm super grateful that I experienced the living abroad. It's not the school that taught me about this life hacks or literally what everyone is going through in their life, but it's the living process itself. Does that sentence make any sense? I hope it does. So we're gonna get to the first thing that I learned so much when I live abroad is independence. I see those independence for, from being able to just look out for myself for, the, for those two years. Every time I'm home, I've always been surrounded with everyone that are able to take care of me. And I'm not saying that when I was in China, when I was in this boarding school, there's no one to take care of me. Obviously there is, but when you're at home, it's obviously different because those people are paying attention to you. Okay, so I just want to clarify a few things. Um, what I mean by when you're at home, you have someone to like pay attention specifically to you. It's like your parents, your guardians, your, um, your siblings, your cousins someone that is there for you at home and they will actually pay attention to you and when you're in a boarding school like obviously you have your advisor your mental health counselor and it's your responsibility to reach out to those people when you have something to say or you need something from them so yeah that's just what I mean and also like for the simplest thing ever like all those knickknacks of taking care of your own phone bill and you have to get around by yourself in this city which is hard first of all especially when you're in China and you don't speak the language when I was there I didn't feel like I gained so much independence or whatever because I feel like everyone is growing at the same pace as I am so I feel like I'm no different than everybody else there I remember the first the first first exact time where I feel so independent that I feel like I can live alone and I can take care of myself was when I went to Shanghai alone so my school UWC is not located in Shanghai but rather it's like two hours away in a, in a small city and one time one of my closest on visited me and she wanted to go to Shanghai it was the first time that I properly properly travel alone in a foreign country by myself um just crazy to me to think about it again because i was literally alone in a country where i don't speak the language and no one else speak english it's not common to find everyone that speaking especially in the small city that i was like not in shanghai obviously in shanghai you will find more people that speak english and it was very sudden first of all i just got off from like a school trip the day after i have to go to shanghai to meet my aunt my parents back home in indonesia were so worried because are you sure that you were going to be able to do this and i'm like yeah i mean when is the better time than now i was just like okay let's do it like i i actually want to go to shanghai and it was probably one of the best shanghai trips that i've ever had and i actually felt like living the life of the people there so yeah the next day it was 6 a.m in the morning and i immediately get into a cab that i booked and i go to the train station and i get to the train station and i go on the train after the train i go to the metro by myself in shanghai and i met my aunt of course like when i was in shanghai i met with my aunt but my aunt doesn't know anything about Shanghai, so I was basically her tour guide. That was when the time when I realized, oh my god, like I am able to take care of myself from this point on. So the next thing that I want to talk about is I've matured so much. When you're in UWC, you get to meet people from different nationalities, different backgrounds that honestly for me in the beginning it was very foreign because a whole my life I've always been surrounded with people that have the same culture as I am or have similar cultures so it's not very far but when I get to UWC it was it was a complete different thing you see people from literally different kinds of culture and it was mind-blowing to me and I didn't thought that I would get to experience this at, at such a young age and honestly that helped me so much to become more open-minded and more respectful of other people's culture it actually forced me to be able to have my own voice and I'm super happy for that because right now 
I'm not ashamed to speak out my opinions and I'm not afraid to learn something new every day about things that I have not known yet. Another thing is about gratefulness. Living alone makes you become like super grateful at all the small little things that has been given to you. For example, I remember like one time that I get to buy a lot of groceries and I was super grateful for it. Like just as simple as groceries make me happy, but I guess like that's also a part of growing up. The next thing that I want to talk about is responsibility. I acknowledge more of my responsibility. This can come out from independence as well because I gotta take care of myself and I'm the one that knows what's good for myself rather than anyone else surrounding me. I became more responsible for my work life, my social life. Okay, I'm back and I just want to clarify something again. Um, what I mean by that is like when you're at home, like especially the fact that you're just 15, 16, even 17, like your parents are s still monitoring you in a lot of different ways. They're there to help you, you know, to just like manage your life. Whereas when you live alone at such a young age, you're being forced to like take care of those things by yourself, like managing your own life by yourself, which is, I know that like a lot of teenagers have probably experienced that like in such a younger age that I was, but this was actually my first time to have to take care of myself completely without no one is helping me to manage like my own time. So yeah. It has helped me so much in terms of my time management as well because it's completely different than when I was back home because like when I was living abroad, I get to manage my own time and I, I need to know when I should schedule myself to study. I should know when I should schedule myself to socialize and I should know when I should sleep. It's a life thing. Like sometimes you like the work, the social life and the sleeping combined together it's a it's a tough combination i didn't realize how hard it actually was to manage those three because sometimes i socialize a lot like i love hanging out with my friends so much that sometimes i just oh my god like yeah i could just like sleep another in another like hour and then it turns out that i I only got like three hours of sleep that day because of I'm socializing and I've been like working so much. So yeah, like those things, like it makes me realize like how important is time management in terms of like work, socialize and sleep and eat. You gotta like manage your own shit and you gotta plan your own timing according to what you like and what's best for you. That was hard because I used to get a lot of projects and I used to have shit ton of work from school but I managed to graduate and I managed to live alone and solve those kind of things. It might be hard in the beginning, but yeah, get it? The last one and the most important one, friendships. When I came to TWC, I didn't have any friends. Like I completely, totally didn't have any friends. Like everyone there is just starting a new life. Like everyone there is starting to make new friends which is a good thing because everyone there are so motivated to make new friends which is something that i'm kind of scared of about college i guess like a lot of people already knew each other prior to college and then they would go to college at the same time and i'm the only one that has to make friends all over again but anyway that's another thing that's my dilemma for college but yeah when i was in it obviously everyone there is dealing with the same thing and everyone is trying to make friends with different people and it was very funny in the beginning because I talked to several people in the beginning but I don't talk to them anymore. Not that I'm not friends with them anymore but it's more like we all grew to have friends that we're more comfortable with. It was hard to find the one like when you were in a, in a relationship like you always want to find the one and that also goes in a friendship. In the beginning I was courting around like I was making friends with everybody and I didn't realize that the people that are the ones for me are the ones that have always been there since the beginning but this can be different for different people some of my friends that i'm close to now i only get to be like properly friends with them six months in friendships when you're living abroad you're living behind like all of your friends back home i was so caught up with my 
world and my life when I was living abroad that I should have made more effort to rekindle my friendships with people that are half back home. Later on, I know which one that sticks around and which one's just... yeah. But yeah, that's how it is. That's how life is. Like, living abroad makes me learn how to cherish friendships for me. I'm super grateful for all the friendships that I made when I live abroad. And it makes me learn so much about, you know, cherishing every moment that you get to spend with other people that are important to you. The last, last important thing that I learned is when I get to UWC, I experience a different kind of friendships that has a higher level of maturity that I feel like I have more connections with those people. It's not that friendships that you had before isn't mature enough. It's because you weren't mature enough to have this different level of friendships. My personal like outtakes for from everything is that living abroad alone since you were young forces you to grow so much you tend to be more grateful for everything that has been given to you. I hope that I'm not talking nonsense because this is a very unique experience and I want to reflect on it in a good way. If you by any chance have the opportunity to encounter living alone experience or even better living alone abroad, <laughs> then just do it. Just take that experience because you never know how that experience is gonna mature you as a person and it's gonna help you grow so much as a person. So yeah, I guess that is it for today's video. I will see you next week. Bye.